Okay, folks, so uh, it's another part of my camera crawler adventure. So we're going to get right to it. So we've got a Foxier camera, and we've got a, well, I don't know the name of this little transmitter. I don't care either. So the first thing we're going to do is cut the cut the uh, clips off because they don't play nice together. I don't know what they're supposed to go to. I don't care. And uh, we're going to send them to recycling. That's their problem to figure out. So, voltage sense, I don't know. Smart audio. Yeah, you know what the best smart audio is under a house? Is uh, to clip it. There, that's the smart audio. Alright, so now what we got to do is figure out how we're going to wire all these together. Um, let me find another tool bureau right back. Got this trusty wire stripper. We'll see if it does what it's supposed to do. It does. Beautiful. I bought this a minute ago at a ham fest. wasn't working so well on that yellow wire. Not a big deal. I think they shop at the same place at these factories. So the biggest thing it's doing is it's just uniformly nipping the insulation. So even if it doesn't pull off, I can then pull it off with my fingers. And I think the voltage sensing on this is going to go right here. Boom. It's going to get voltage sensed into the recycling bin. Alright, so let me pause and figure out how these go. Alright, so this is voltage for the camera. just making a mess out of this and that's okay all right so ground is black all right we're at least consistent And then video should be yellow, which is the only thing that's left, so that's good. Alright, we'll be right back. So we've moved over to the Mad Scientist workbench where we're going to solder these, but not before we test them. So, let me get my probe set up. Well, first things first, we're going to pigtail these out because yeah we just need to pigtail them out okay even better I don't even have to jack with it too much so I kept red as red And I've got a bench power supply up above, and the bench power supply is going to take us there. But before it does, we're going to check and see. Um, yep, that should be good. 6.7. Should be just right. No magic smoke. All right, let's see. Uh, let's 
let's see if we've got video. So I've got this really, really cool um, monitor slash video recorder. Channel one and Channel one. That should be all right. Let's go to channel two. So it says we're in band E, A1, so I'm just going to punch through these. There we go. Almost had it. Okay, so we've got a Foxier camera and we're on the same band. But we're not getting there in terms of the video. Well, I guess it would help if we took the cap off now, wouldn't it? Wow. That's a pretty darn good picture. Ooh, and that thing gets hot fast. So let's turn the lights out and see what it still does. Couldn't tell the difference. Alright, so we've got that hooked up. Turn the lights back on. That's a really nice picture. So, uh, alright. We can turn that off. Oh, I'm really excited about that. So, let me extract these, and the next thing we need to do is fire up the old soldering iron, and we can bring that down, and it's been neglected for a while. So now that we've got these, we're going to go ahead and solder them together. And I should have some flux, but God only knows where that's at. Tell you where it's not.
right. Well, this is going to be dirty. Dirty, 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 dirty. That's okay. this was going to be dirty. So I'm having trouble getting a good pressure on this. We'll get there. Yes, it's still hot. Imagine that. Alright, so for about five cents worth of slaughter, we've got a connection. Now we need to make some decisions. And I think we've already made it. So I need to do a little bit of stripping here. Alright, so we will not be needing that one, so we're going to delete this. And send it to recycling. We'll see if princesses at City of Houston actually recycle it, or it winds up in the trash. Either way, it's not my problem.
so red is hot and brown is not. get with the program and get it soldered. But first let's get these out of the way. And yes, my hands shake. No, it's just always been like this. This would be easier if I could get good contact, but I don't have... I guess maybe I can hold the wire. Alright, there we go. Clean that off. That is what that brass thing is for. So we've got some um, Harbor Freight Marine Heat Shrink Tubing. And what's special about Marine Heat Shrink Tubing is it has adhesive on the inside, which helps to make it somewhat waterproof. Um, it's on sale from time to time, and it's a bargain when it is. You can order this also on eBay. It'll take about six weeks to come in from China, and if you need a bunch of it, that is the way to go. You can get continuous lengths of it. All right, so, now I've also got this little heat gun right here that is going to make really short work out of this for me.
The advantage that the heat gun offers is it's not going to burn your tubing. So it's only going to shrink so much, and then it stops. And that's okay. What we want to do next is figure out what the next size up is that will fit all three of them. And I think it's going to be this. Yep, that is the size, so we're going to cut off what we think is an appropriate size, or what I think is an appropriate amount, the rest goes back in the bin. And then that looks good there. And there we have a nice connection between the camera and the transmitter. So now we need to do something similar, and it's probably going to involve these sizes. So we're going to bring in maybe this much. Now the other one, I, I only had a little tiny piece, so I threw it away, but that's big enough that I'll use it again. I'm pretty sure that'll be right, and if it's not, it'll go back in. And I really could use a smaller size tubing on this, but this is what I've got, so this is what I'm using. And it is worth pointing out that it is the material, um, you need to heat all of it to get the maximum shrinking out of it. So I'll spin it over. And that looks really good. So now we'll come back in with this. And it does take a minute to cool off, so you know, try not to burn yourself. Or pre-shrink your tubing, both of which would suck. Okay, so it's not wanting to cooperate with me too much, but I'm going to take what I can get. So I'll just trim off the piece I don't need and send it to the trash.
All right. So at this point, I'm going to make sure that everything still works. Because, well, it would really suck to get this all back together and discover that it doesn't work anymore. And I'm going to be a little bit on the bad side and just clip these apart and make it disposable because I need wires. Okay. boom we got instant video and that's perfect all right so let's move to the car all right so we are going to hot snot this puppy together and the first thing that needs to go together is um, the camera needs to mount to this So we're going to just hot glue it there. Um, and this is a micro toothless. It's actually a pretty cool camera. The only thing I don't like is the, um, yeah, there, there's a couple things I don't like. I don't think I have any hardware for it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't receive any kind of a mount for it, so I'm going to make a mount. Not yet. All right, let's see if we're ready for it. that simple. So while that dries, we're going to figure out how we're going to mount this, and that actually looks pretty good right there. So I think it's just going to get hot glued right there. I really like to keep some separation, but, but that's actually really good right there. Yeah, I think that's it. We're going to hot snot that puppy right there. On the one hand, I feel like I'm cheating by using hot snot, but on the other hand, it is simple and versatile. And I'm going to back it up with a zip tie for that fully rigged up effect.
Okay, so that is our power loom. So let's figure out how we're going to attach that. And then what we need to do is just clean all that up. So let's flip it around where we like it. So it needs a little bit more hot snot to hold that wire in place where it won't be. So we'll give that a second to warm up. So what we've got here is we've put this in place with hot snot and we're gonna just glue the wire there so it doesn't tangle and nothing bad happens to it. So the only thing we got left to do now is uh, lights, but we'll mess with that. Alright, so the only thing we got left at this point is the lights, and we'll mess with that a little bit later. First, um, let's button this back up and just kind of see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that loose, because I'm not even remotely done in there. Let me fire up the receiver. Oh, and I didn't, maybe I didn't tell you that this receiver was wireless or cordless. It has a battery and an SD card slot for recording. I think it's time to go play. Alright, so it ain't perfect, but it works and it will go under houses and do the trick. Um, there are some clearance challenges, but I'm going to let you guys kind of see it 
run. Now all of that is fine and dandy, except when you've got to get up into a space. So, you know. just a little bit diff more difficult. So, yeah, junk doesn't stop it. And so you guys can see what I'm seeing. I, I do have a little servo jitter. Um, I flipped it over at one point and uh, yeah, that's causing some issues. Yep, and we just flipped over. So that is one of the challenges I'm having. It's pretty easy to flip it over, and if you flip it over, there is a good chance you are going to have to go get it. So, and honestly, that's not really a space that I should have gone through anyway. Um, and I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that that servo is fried but whatever it was cheap it was like a five or six dollar servo so you know there are some limitations and let's let's just kind of work through this space here because that space is challenging so we just don't have the reach to get over that Oh, yes, we do. And to show you what sort of torture I'm going through right now, and we're just going to ignore the fact that the... the um, we're going to ignore that it is twitching because that's kind of irritating. That's actually pretty impressive to get through that because, well, yeah, that's a mess. 
Move some of the things out of the way that ah, cry, create problems, and let's see if we can get back through here. And so you guys see what I am attempting to go through is that space on the back side of that. Flip it over and don't throw the transmitter. In. And there you have it. It works. Maybe not the prettiest car, but it will do the trick. It still has some little TLC. Uh, the gimbal servo is not really strong enough to be flipped over, so we got to deal with that. But otherwise, I think we got a winner. Thanks for watching.